What is up guys? Welcome to Studio Bus Build. Oh my gosh, so uh, we, we picked up this bus. We, went, uh, we found it on Facebook Marketplace and we drove down to Alabama or up to Alabama and I drove it all the way down here. No problems, except my wipers didn't work, my running lights didn't work, none of my indoor lights work. It's kind of a scary drive home. Listen guys, this is the build video and you're watching this video because you want to see what we're doing with this bus. Let's get in there. It's pretty much a clean slate right now. There was a little bit built in there and and we gutted most of it. So as you can see, what we did was we got rid of most of the stuff. We're gonna frame the walls right now, and then later on in a couple days, we're gonna be doing wiring. My brother-in-law is gonna help me with that. He's a freaking electrician master. So framing, insulation, electricity is gonna be a project, and we're starting today. It's like Monday, rainy, beautiful day. So let's check it out. Coming in. I just not coming in. All right, so we're starting to do, we're gonna do uh, some uh, furniture over those wheel wells, sort of like wh whoever had it blasted that. So you can see we got a running AC unit, which is kind of keeping the bus kind of cool, which is kind of nice. We're gonna have couches right here. We're gonna have my computer producer station over there. It's gonna be sort of like a podcasting set up here. Here's the uh, driver's seat, kind of a wreck. A lot of the, uh, uh, a lot of the electric doesn't work, but. So a few interesting things about this bus. We have that piece of metal going along the side of the bus. I imagine that's where they attach the uh, the seats because this bus was gutted, so I don't know what was there. But anyway, so basically I'm having to do cut notches in the wood so they fit in. The reason we're framing a two by four is because we're putting full size um, outlets. It's gonna go to two by four all the way up to the window and then we're doing fairing strips and a thinner insulation up towards the windows. So also, there's that um, threshold, existing threshold that was there I took it out and that's where the uh, the heating radiator hoses were going through and now it left a giant gap there and it was like those water and mud and just grossness so we put some great stuff foam and expanded very much as you can see I think that's definitely gonna take care of that problem what is up guys it's been another day but listen we are pretty much done with the 2x4 framing and I'm gonna show you the progress here check it out Right now, it's time to get my self-tapping screws and measure for the fairing strips all along the windows. Yeah, let's do this. I need to seal up all these windows. I have 100% silicone caulk that I'm going to use to seal around every single window because these windows are not going to open ever again. And I want to make sure there's no moisture going into those windows. Alright, so now it's time to do insulation. I'm not doing insulation down here just yet because we're about to do electrical. But I'm going to put the insulation on the windows, tap in all my electrical boxes. That's what's going to happen right now. Let's do this. Well, well, it's been a few weeks actually. For you, it's only been a few seconds. Good for you. Here we are back again at the bus. We were working on our RV for a couple weeks. That's almost done. But anyway, you wanna know about the bus. Started putting in these panels. And let me know, let me tell you what we did here. Maybe a little bit of a design flaw. We put in these fairing strips and I was gonna put the panels on there and then I realized, wait a second, I need more room here to actually, basically what I'm trying to say is I had to end up putting more one by twos going across the bottom and the top to be able to frame that window perfectly so the, the panel doesn't have any give. You know, I would have preferred something thicker, um, but maybe it be being light is good. Also did the uh, the pipes. We did uh, the plumbing for the sink. We're gonna have a sink right here. And we got all the panels cut. Time to put them in and start making this thing look like a studio and not just a cotton candy house here. So let's do this. All right, here we are. It has been a few weeks. We were in and out of town. And finally, we had a week to come here and dedicate to the bus build. As you see, I started working on the cabinets, putting in doors. Abby was taking care of the painting because she's good at that. I am not good at painting. So let's show you guys a little bit of what the progress is in here. The paint looks fantastic. Everyone says, oh, it's too dark. It makes the place look small. Yes. That is sort of the point, because we wanted to have this kind of closed-in studio vibe. But the roof, as you see, is natural wood color. All we're gonna do is seal it, and it's gonna look beautiful. It's gonna be nice and bright in here. 
No worries. All right, so look at these cabinets. I use fairing strips. Um, there's actually a wide fairing strip that's like a four inch fairing strip and then there's like a two inch. I think that's right. And fairing strips work great for this stuff. I think they're fantastic. They're cheap. I use two inch finishing nails, um, which is Gosh, it's so much faster than using screws. It is looking great in here. I'm gonna start putting in some outlet covers. I'm pretty excited. No, not all the way finished, but you know, it's looking like something and that's exciting. All right, here we are. I just parked the bus. I just installed the 50 amp hookup. So I can turn my lights on. This is looking like something now. So as you see, there's a little bit of a difference there. The edge, because we are clear coating the ceiling. And you might be thinking, why didn't you do this before I put it up there? You're right, I should have done it before, but uh, for some reason I didn't. So here we are, clear coating the ceiling. It smells very strong in here. I do like that smell, but it's a little too much. But anyway, yeah, this place is coming together. It took a little bit of a half a day to finish drying. My screen keeps getting fogged up. So we're gonna paint, and then we're gonna go straight into floors I think today. I think we're gonna get to floors today after this paint kind of dries and we don't want any drips on the on the nice hardwood floor but we're that's what we're gonna get to right Emmy? He's gonna help me out today. Alright here we are another day working on the bus. Last night we finished the floors just about as much as I'm gonna go for now. This, I'm gonna put vinyl in here. I'm gonna frame this, insulate the windows. I love all the metal work. It's just kind of a cool room. I am working on this AC unit. I'm not a fan of this AC unit, but it was there and I was like, you know what? Instead of taking it out, let's just leave it. I'm gonna be adding a uh, mini split that's going to be my running AC unit. You know how those the AC cover, it's just giant, plastic, rounded. It really throws the vibe off if you come in and see that giant thing there. So, my plan is to build one with wood. <laughs> this might just be like a centerpiece, you know? I don't know, but let's just get into it. Here's the finished product. I am so happy with this look. I mean, this just goes along like, it just looks like it's, man, wow, this is great. Amazing. All right, here we are. More time has passed. We had to leave town, now we're back. I'm actually kind of moving in the studio. We got these tabletops. I, we will show you, we gotta finalize the tabletops, but this cedar is amazing. I got the cedar at a place called Barberville Pioneer Settlement. Great place. I don't even wanna give it away. Time has come. It's not all the way finished yet, but don't worry. We're gonna do finishing touches as we go, but I literally brought a trailer load of things, set up my desk and my computer and all that. We're gonna set up internet this week. All that good stuff. Let's get it done. Well then, here's another day in the studio. Look at that. Can you believe this looks like that? My goodness, it just looks so nice. Finally coming together. This is a time you can't stop. This is a time where you look almost done and you realize, I want to take a breather, but it's not time to take a breather. It's time to finish the race all the way to the end. I feel like I'm about 95, maybe 90% done. For example, this room in here is, is, you know, it's like, what am I gonna do with this room? Bar, lounge, just generic store room I think I need to make it everything so first thing I'm gonna do is a basic framing and insulating of these windows uh, we're gonna paint the inside I decided to leave the ceiling like this because interesting enough this is perforated and underneath this perforation is fiberglass so it is so quiet in here this is actually sound absorption amazing so I'm gonna leave the ceiling like that I'm gonna obviously paint it black like everything else whatever you call it the cushions are gone this is completely filthy we're gonna clean this up reupholster the chairs. I'm not gonna bore you with the details. So let's hit it here and it's gonna be like a Mary Poppins thing. Let's just finish it. All right guys, now for the finished product. Here is the Unicorn Bus Transformed. I'm not sure what I'm gonna call it. I keep calling it the Unicorn Bus because technically it still is the Unicorn Bus. Still has the Unicorn, still says Unicorn, still pink. Yes, we're gonna change the color eventually. Honestly, it's kind of growing on me. We have to change the color. It's not a priority right now because honestly, it's a decent paint job. So, no worries there. 
So since we last spoke, let's talk about what we've done. We put internet on the bus, and we also did the AC unit, which is the final touch. We did a 12,000 BTU Pioneer floor unit AC. Let's show you that right now. Not disappointed at all. So that is the AC unit. This is the final product. I hope you guys have enjoyed this journey. We've been on together the creation of this new studio bus. I'm really happy. I'm really excited to work from this location. Wherever it goes, I'm with it. What's, what? Okay. All right, guys, without further explanation, let's check out the finished product in cinematic detail right now. So there you have it, the new studio. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the journey. I definitely could have done so many things differently. I learned a lot. This was my first time doing a bus from scratch like this. Let me know in the comments if I should have done something different, what you liked, what you didn't like. It would be very helpful because this is probably not my last. Once you start doing this, can't stop. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time.